Hello everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and this is my farm. Now y'all know, in the Bahamas, we have a couple things that we enjoy. And by enjoy, I mean love. Junkanoo, religion, and of course, conch. Now, I got the next conch recipe for you, but let me tell you about our sponsor, Showman Ebistro. Let Showman E Bistro help you take all of the guesswork out of your dinner nights this week. The world is reopening, schools are reopening, and everything is starting to get hectic, but the meals that you make don't need to be. Go to the Showman E Bistro website to order this week's meal kit and see all of the recipes for every single ingredient that it contains and feed your family of four or more seven meals per person in a week. That's right. Seven meals per person in a week. Three portions, three packages prepared just for you. Go to showmanebistro.com to order your meal kit today. Now I'm gonna show you today how to make your favorite conch and rice, okay? Now it could be different from what some of y'all, you know, used to. Just like my corn and rice recipe was a little bit different, but I can tell you it's going to be full of flavor and extremely easy. So having said that, y'all, let's get this recipe started. This is going to be the easiest rice you make. And listen, I gonna need y'all grammys and aunties to just let me live for right now. Uncles and daddies, let me live. So we're going to add one tablespoon of oil of your choice and one tablespoon of butter to the pot. We're also going to add half a cup of diced onions. I'm using purple because that's what Showman gave us. Plus a half a cup of diced sweet peppers using green because that's what Showman gave us. But you wanna use colored peppers because the sweetness of them is much higher and if you've been watching my rice dishes you know we're going to caramelize both of these herbs right now the aromatics now we're going to add one cup of diced ripe tomatoes y'all please don't use great um green tomatoes use the the diced ripe tomatoes the riper the better for you know rice and for stews okay and then we are going to add three cloves of minced garlic that's up to you you don't have to use it, but I like garlic and the way it tastes with butter and conch and half a tablespoon of salt. Now I noticed something that y'all don't normally see me do, but we're not using any broth in this rice today. And so I'm generously salting this because everything is nice and fresh. It's one tablespoon of tomato paste. I don't want this to be a very brown rice and I don't want it to be a super red rice. So we're gonna have a rice that's kind of in the middle. And one bay leaf. Shout out to Cindy the Creative for noticing that I love me a bay leaf inside my rice. Now look here, y'all see this texture? This is kind of what we want. Um, and that tells us that we are going to have some sweetness in the pot. This is one tablespoon of thyme. Fresh or dried is fine. The fresher the thyme is, you add it later. And now we're gonna add two cups of rice and two cups of water, equal parts. Remember now, you have the liquid from the tomato. A tomato base is actually going to help retain the moisture in your rice. We're going to bring that to a boil until the water starts to evaporate so that we can start to cook the rice grains. And this is where you can check your stock or your base for the salt or seasoning content and add more. Now, here's what I need everybody to know. We are now going to steam our conch in this rice. So now that a lot of the water has started to evaporate, we're at the point now where we can let our conch steam. So we've diced our one and a half pounds of tenderized conch. They're in parts or pieces that are large enough for us to eat and appreciate. And we're just going to kind of fold that into our rice. Now, here's what I need everybody to know. The conch releases its own water. It is a sea creature. So therefore it has its own water inside of it. And I'm going to add salt to taste. Salt is relative. We're adding now three quarters of a cup of water to this and we're just going to allow this to steam on a low flame, okay? We're steaming the conch. It's going to take on the color of the herbs but conch also yellows as it cooks. And this ghost pepper is here for pretty because I see that's what the people is do um, on their recipes. But you don't gotta do this. You could take some gold pepper flakes and you can add it or you can cut your gold pepper up a little bit. And guys, we are just going to let this steam on medium low or very low heat. 
We're gonna throw some lime or lemon juice at the top to taste. This is optional. And we're just going to watch our rice swell. The texture of this before it finishes the soaking period is going to be more like a f not really friendly but it's going to look very friendly from the beginning and as it soaks up all of the moisture it's going to be one one so here we go we're gonna let this rest now look at the rice hold on look at it look at it see everyone just like that we have a delicious conch and rice full of flavor and no rubbery conch to be honest you can actually eat this as a one pot meal similar to the way that the Spanish um, people in Spain have their paella it is basically a seafood based rice don't forget to check out our sponsor showman e bistro for all of your meal kit services if you don't want to get the traditional meal kit well don't worry about that they have a build your own meal kit that is going to allow you to choose your entree choose your sides choose your appetizers dessert is also on the way but you can wash it down with a delicious wine of your choice by Springbok Company Limited and it is only $65 so Go to the show and eat this show meal kit for your vegan, vegetarian, and regular meal options with the Build Your Own Meal Kit. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Bodhian Pod. I hope that you enjoyed my delicious conch and rice recipe. Easy, right? Not too many steps. And of course, if you follow my instructions carefully, you're going to have a pot that is worthy of the pot love. If you enjoyed this recipe, please leave me a comment, definitely share, and most importantly, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know each and every single time I upload. You interacting with these videos in the minute that they drop or within the first hour is so important in pushing Bahamian culture forward. And if you have a recipe that you would like for me to make, drop it in the comments as well. Follow me on Bodine Pot across all social media platforms. And of course, if you want to see what I'm wearing, what I'm up to, I'm Bodine Victoria across all social media platforms as well. And having said that, I'm going to eat my one pot conch and rice. It's my cheat meal for the week. And I want you to remember, when your pot tastes good, don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot. Bye-bye.